Bowman will be your new home. Life on the Red Horse Ranch. <laughs> boys from Red Horse Ranch have followed the trail of a mysterious map left by Trigger Dawson, a slain outlaw. The trail led to a falls on Roaring River. Alabam, Bob, Idaho, and Dewey descended the canyon below the falls and left the rest of the boys at the top to watch the horses. Before we join Alabam's party, let's see what the other boys are doing. To change my way, to leave my cross that was so Soft, her kiss is sweet. Sing, we'll get married next time we meet. Twas in the year of '83 that A.J. Stinson hired me. He said, Young man, I want you to go and follow my herd. In Mexico, when I arrived in Mexico, I thought about the girl who loved me so, so wrote a letter to my dear, but not a word in return did I hear, so started back to my once loved home. said, young man, she's wed a richer life, therefore, young feller, you must seek another wife. Oh, buddy, oh, buddy, oh, please stay home. Don't be forever on the road. There's lots of girls more true than I, so please don't I wonder how much longer we're going to have to wait up here. Huh? Alabama and the boys have been gone a long time. Oh, it just seems a long time, Cheyenne, with us waiting like we are. Well, like as not, they're in trouble down at the bottom of that canyon well, right now. I, don't know. I told Alabama not to take Dewey along. I sort of do feel the way you do, Cheyenne. We'd better start down after him before long. Well, let's have some more music. That helps a little. Yeah, come on, boys. 
story I'll relate of a country maiden's fate. A story that you will understand. A villain one fine day said he'd take the maid away to the city where life was so grand. She thought of what he said that he promised her he'd wed, but the wedding bells they never, never told. And then he went away and he knew that very day that he left behind a broken heart and soul. Soon laid away from the worry for the girl she loved so dear. Now you girls, young and gay, do not waste your life that way. Just take heed to what I've said and have no fear. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a good story. Well, yeah. keep it going. Arizona's time we heard from you. Okay, yeah, well. yeah, that's a real yeah, boys, I believe Dewey's right. This must be a hidden entrance to that cavern there behind the falls. Anyway, we might as well have a look. Uh, this entrance uh, ain't any too big to get through. Come on, boys. Dewey, are you still there? Don't get back there too far. You might get lost. By golly, this opens out into quite a cave, don't it? Yeah. Wait till I light a match. Careful, I hope. We don't know what's ahead of us here. Dewey, we got to stay close together. This seems to be some sort of a passageway here that opens up further on to join the main cavern. We'd better hurry. Bradford and his men have already entered the cavern under the falls on the other side of the river. Idaho, you and Dewey better stay here at the entrance and watch Bradford's actions on the other side of the river. Bob, let you and me do a little looking around here. All right, Come on, boy. Well, be sure and yell if you need any help, Alabama. All right, Dewey, let's keep our eyes open. This cave seems to be opening up wider all the time, don't it? Yeah, but we still don't know what we are looking for. We'd better move as quiet as we can. Bradford and his men are in here somewhere, too. You're right, Bob. Say, look here. There's two passages. Which way do you suppose mm. we better go? That's hard to tell. I'll keep your voice down, Bob. Let's light another match. All right. Stand right where you are. Wait, 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 wait. Well, who's there? Steve Brett. You're both covered, so don't make a move. All right, Hank, light that torch. Yeah, yeah. There it is, boss. What are we going to do with it? Oh, shut up and frisk him, Hank. The rest of you boys, keep him covered. Well, Alabama. Well, let's get it over with. Watch your game this time, Brett. I think we both know what the other fellow's after. I have as much right to Dawson's loot as you do. You think you can get away with this, Bradford? I think I can, if there's no one to do much talking. Oh, boys. Yeah, boy. I think we might just as well leave them right yeah. here, huh? Uh, Got your lariat with you, Hank? Yeah, boss. Shall we tie him up? Sure. Good and tight. And hurry up. All right. No rough stuff out of you now, or we'll plug you both. I'm laying with fire this time, ain't you, Bradford? Yeah, how about gagging them, boss? I don't think it'll do them any good to call for help. Got them tied hand and foot? Yeah, they won't get loose. All right. Come on, bring your torches. All right. Well, so long, Alabama. Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> if we have a peep out of you, we'll all be back, and it won't go so easy with you. Yeah. If I could just get my hands loose. Well, we walked right into that one. Serves us right. Well, I guess it's all up if we're stuck here. <laughs> this rope's cutting into my wrist something awful. Suppose we ought to yell for Idaho? Oh, you better not risk that yet, Bob. It won't bring Bradford back. Gosh, hang these ropes. Why, Bob, they're coming back. Sure that's them, Alabama? Seems to me them voices are coming from the other way. Say, you must be right, Bob. From the way we came. Alabama. Do you suppose Alabama. That... Where are you? It's Idaho. Hey, here we are, Idaho. Quiet, though. What's Quiet. the matter here? What's happened? Untie us and we'll tell you afterwards. But don't make a sound. Why, they're tied hand and foot. We'll soon have you out of this, Alabama. Why, it, it's Cheyenne. What are you doing down here? Where's Arizona and Tenderfoot and the rest of the boys? We got tired of waiting for you, so we all got our horses and came on down to the river. The rest of the boys are up at the entrance, Alabama. Well, thanks, boys. 
feels good to be loose again. No, tell us what happened. Oh, there is, boys. Oh, he might be coming back before long. But have you good and ready? And when I get the order to shoot, shoot for all your voice, but be sure it's in the air. In the air? What do you mean? Well, there's no need for any bloodshed. With all you boys shooting, the echo in this cave will make it sound like a whole army. They'll turn tail and run before they know what's happened. Bradford's coming back all right. There's a light in that passageway. They're heading this way. They must have found the loot. Now listen, boys. Keep back around the bend here. When they get up to where they left us, I'll shoot the torch out of that leader's hand. And we'll keep them covered and get back so if they try any shooting, we'll be safe. Here they come down the passageway. They ain't losing any time about it. Quiet, boys. Now. Remember, when I give the order, empty your guns in the air. All right, come on, boys. We'll show Alabama and Bob what they missed out on, huh? Yeah, we left them tied right along here. Yeah, right in here somewhere. Hey, boss. Boss, what's this? Why, why it's the ropes. They're gone. When I give the order, I'm going to put out Hank's torch. Oh, oh, what the, who shot out that torch? I wouldn't try to light that torch again, Bradford. You're in a pretty bad spot right Boss, now. Yeah. Boss, he's supposed there's somebody else here. I don't know. You bet there's somebody else here. You might try something and see what happens. Now, wait a minute, Alabama. You can't bluff me. If you'll drop that loot and get out of here, we'll let you go. Otherwise... We can do some shooting, too. All right, boys. Blaze away. Uh, boss! Boss, they'll get ashore! Hang on Come on! I know what I've licked! Let's get out of here! Come back here! Shall we go after Alabama? No need of that, Bob. They're scared plumb silly. Look here, boys! they done just what Alabama told them to. If I ain't mistaken, they dropped every bit of Dawson's loot right here. Well, oh, oh, they oh, say, oh, there's plenty of money in them bags. Oh, Let's pick it up and get out of this cave. Be sure you get all of it. Every yeah. and do it sit out the mouth of the yeah. cave. Yeah. Reckon they're wondering what's happened. Yeah. There's the entrance right there ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is that you? It's us, Dewey. Me and all the boys. Are you all right? Of course I am. Look. There goes Brad from them fellows up the trail the other side of the canyon there. Yes, sir. Come on out, boys. Everything is safe now. Did you get the loot, Alabama? I sure did, Dewey. Thanks to Bradford's help. Gosh. Hey, they made me wait out here when there was a good gunfight. I never have any luck. Well, by Jacks, will you look who's coming? <laughs> well, hey, Cookie, are you just getting down here? I'm uh, uh, here. Come on now. Well, we need to hurry up. <laughs> look at Cookie ride that burl. <laughs> uh, I've got my resolve. Where's the fight, man? <laughs> the fighting's all over with, Cookie. Come on, boys. We are heading for home. And our thrilling hunt for treasure is over. Let's join the boys again when they ride home to Red Horse Ranch. <laughs>